Hi friends, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart and today I thought we could do another Mail Art Monday. So today I'm going to show you how I make this pen pal folder and then the envelope that kind of matches it. So to start off with, I'm using two glassine bags and I'm folding them in half so that the opening and the end that is closed both meet. I'm overlapping the end just a little bit over um, the opening, you'll see in a minute. So that way I can make one cut that will basically open the bag up on both sides. So I'm using this uh, Creative Grids quilting ruler. Um, I also sew, so I usually will use this when I'm sewing, but it also comes in handy for paper crafts to uh, make sure that the cut is even. I typically stay away from um, like the craft store paper cutters. They tend to not be the best quality and I just prefer using a rotary cutter and a ruler. Just I have better results and I'm able to control whether how sharp my blade is and whatnot. So now I'm trimming down the uh, cardstock that the glassine bags are going to go into. I didn't go over how I folded it in the beginning. There are lots of tutorials to show you how to do it. I believe they call it an accordion folder. Um, there are plenty of tutorials online that you can look up that will show you how to fold this. So I'm folding down the top flap to kind of make a closure. And I'm going to take the two glassine bags and glue them down into the, the folder to make pockets. So for the side of the bag, that is going to be touching the cardstock. I'm putting down this um, tape runner on all sides of it and getting a really good coverage. And then I'm sticking it down to the inside of the cardstock on one side. Um, don't be like me in this process where I wasn't really paying attention where I was sticking it to. I uh, didn't give myself enough clearance on one side and so it's a little uneven. So you'll notice that for the next pockets that don't have contact with the outside of the cardstock, I'm only putting the tape down in the center. That way it folds out nicely, kind of like an accordion. Um, if you do put tape or glue on all sides, it won't fold out nicely and it kind of buckles and feels weird. So now because this side is going to be touching the outside of the cardstock, I am putting down a good bit of this tape runner to make sure I get good coverage and contact so that when you pull open the folder, it will pull open the whole thing. So don't forget, there is one more side that you should be putting that center tape down. And then, ta-da, it opens up like an accordion fold. This is really great to send ephemera like lots of ephemera to people. Um, I like to do these every once in a while for my pen pals and kind of load them up with a bunch of goodies. So now this is an optional step. I like to round the corners of a lot of things that I do. I think it gives it a more um, finished look, but again, it's all personal preference. So now I'm grabbing a piece of scrap paper. This is actually a piece of Braille. Um, and so I'm turning this into little circle punches and I will be using one of them for the closure. So for folders like this, I tend to like to use the little circle punch with a brad so that I can tie a string and close it that way. But there are many ways that you could close this. You could just wrap a string around it. You don't have to have, you know, a brad and a circle punch. You could, you know, do many things. You could close it with a wax seal. There are just a ton of options to customize this thing. So now I'm kind of decorating a little bit and I'm going with more of a spring kind of feel to go with the little bumblebee pattern that's all over this piece of cardstock. I don't know about you, but I am kind of in the mood for spring, at least when it comes to my journal. Um, I live in Southern California, so the weather is kind of the same most of the year, except we do get quite a bit more rain during the springtime. 
but yeah, I'm just, I'm in a spring kind of mood when it comes to my journal and apparently my pen pal uh, letters. So now I'm digging through this little pouch of um, stamped ephemera that I purchased from a vintage seller. I've really been into um, stamped ephemera or making my own with my own stamps. I love these specifically because the font on the numbers and the text is all nice and vintage feeling. Um, I actually just bought a vintage Pullman stamp, so it's got numbers and a few uh, letters on it, but I have been having so much fun playing with that and adding texture and little things of interest to my collages and my journal. So now I am gluing down some just random pieces of paper from my collection. Some of this came from my Your Creative Studio box. Some of this was ephemera that I made. Other things were just scraps that I was trying to use up. And honestly, there are a million ways that you could decorate this. You could use fabric or lace on the top part of the closure. You could use stickers or vintage stamps, tickets. Um, you could just stamp on it if you wanted to. There are just so many ways to customize this for your pen pals. A little designer tip that I would have for you is to try to vary the sizes of the pieces of ephemera that you use. If you notice, I have two larger pieces that I have kind of as an anchor in the background for that cluster on the left. And then I've used two smaller pieces on top of it. And then on the side, I used two pieces of different sizes to um, make a smaller cluster. So now I'm punching um, a hole into that circle and then into the top part of the folder that I can attach the closure to with a brad. Um, I eyeballed this when I did it, but if you're kind of a perfectionist, sometimes I will mark the where the spot is in the center, but other times like now I just kind of just did it by by looking at it. And it wasn't perfect, but honestly, like I don't think anyone's going to be, you know, upset if it's not absolutely perfect. So now that we're moving on to the envelope, I wanted to keep the same kind of spring um, pastel vibes. And I was really inspired the, by this sheet from a memo pad that I have. And I really took all of my design inspiration from that. So I cut out a few pieces of scrap paper from the same kind of cardstock that I used for the pen pal folder. And so I'm just trying to keep everything feeling cohesive and consistent. I'm using a lot of the same papers that I used on the folder so that everything looks like it's all supposed to go together. Again, you don't have to do this. I just thought I would follow through with the, the whole design concept. So for anyone new to the whole pen pal community, I do have another video from last week that I kind of talked about how to find pen pals and how my pen pal journey has been. Um, I will link it up in the cards so that if you're interested, you can check it out. Um, pen paling does not have to be this fancy. I just really enjoy working like this and I enjoy making the recipient feel special and, you know, having put in the time to show that you care about someone to create something beautiful. So for anyone else that's in the pen pal community, I don't know about you, but these last couple weeks, the mail has been extremely slow and I can only assume it's from like the past winter storm that we, a lot of the country had, obviously not Southern California, but I just, I usually will get like maybe three, four letters in a week. And like the last two weeks, I've gotten nothing. I only recently, like the beginning of this last week, had gotten 
um, start getting letters again. So I don't know. Is anyone else feeling like the mail is moving like extremely slow right now? Or maybe, I don't know, maybe people are just writing slower. So in real time, this probably took me about 25 minutes. And that was even with me kind of not fully paying attention. I was watching, uh, I was watching YouTube while I was, was doing this. So this shouldn't take like extremely long time. And especially the more, uh, folders you create, the more envelopes you decorate, the faster you'll get at it. Of course, you know, it's not really about speed, but you know, I get everyone is, you know, busy and whatnot. So we got to keep it down to a minimum. <laughs> So I'm, the last thing I'm adding to this envelope is this little bear stamp. So as we're closing out the video, I just want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. It all helps my channel to grow. And I hope you'll come back and hang out again. Bye.